Hello, I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. Welcome to the Profiles series. The power of knowledge can go a very long way. Look how far it has already carried us from our most basic quest for survival to our expanding reach into the universe. And behind every advance are people determined to make a difference. To attempt to set a value upon his contribution to the rice industry in southwest Louisiana would be like putting a price on the soil, the sunshine, or the elements that go into each crop. Thus was said of one Salmon Lusk Wright, a rice farmer and scientist who moved to Crowley from Indiana in 1890, and who in 1909, in his quest to rid Louisiana of the inferior Japanese grain and put a halt to the spread of red rice, invented the first purebred and superior American rice species, single-handedly revolutionizing the global rice industry. Red rice is a noxious weed that came into the first seed that we used to produce rice in Louisiana and it causes substantial yield and quality reductions in our harvested rice. Mr. Wright's major breakthrough was uh, the variety Blue Rose uh, that was much superior in, in yield but also was had much better milling quality than the older Japanese and Carolina Gold varieties that we were growing at the time, especially uh, with the new milling procedures, the mechanized milling procedures we used beginning at the start of the 20th century. Now, 100 years later, rice has become a staple food for half of the world's population, and the demand is only growing. Though the industry is still battling insidious weeds like red rice today, thanks to the research being done through public university breeding programs like the one here at LSU Ag Research Center, Recent scientific breakthroughs are providing new technologies for rice production that are once again revolutionizing the rice industry. This research station was established uh, right out 100 years ago, primarily for the development of new varieties. Uh, doing the same thing Mr. Wright did as a private citizen and, and in its history it's developed over 40 improved varieties for the industry. Uh, however, more recently, in, within the past 10 years, we have developed a new Clearfield technology, uh, which is a major breakthrough that allows us to, for the first time, selectively eliminate red rice in a commercial rice field. Also known as weedy rice, red rice is a species of rice that produces far fewer grains per plant than cultivated rice and has a vigorous growth and tillering habit that makes it a better competitor for resources than cultivated rice varieties. The red layer of the weed grains harvested with the crop have to be removed with an extra milling, but this operation results in broken grains and grade reduction. The bottom line, with a red rice infestation, farmers are not reaping what they've sown. In addition, the close similarity between red rice and the commercial varieties has prevented the application of herbicides that are able to selectively control the weed. That is, until Dr. Linscombe and his team at the LSU Ag Research Station developed the Clearfield production system. Horizon's business model was literally founded around the discovery of the Clearfield technology at LSU, and that was about a decade ago, and from that time forward, recognizing the value of this technology and yet the need for improved rice varieties. We've worked hand in hand with the university and Dr. Linscombe to bring new products to market. Dr. Linscombe's team at the LSU Ag Research Station first introduced Clearfield rice in 2004. Derived from a novel herbicide tolerance, Clearfield rice enables rice growers to treat for and control red rice and other problem weeds that reduce rice yields by using a class of herbicides not previously available in non-herbicide tolerant rice. For growers, this breakthrough is nothing short of a modern day miracle. I'm a fourth generation rice farmer here in Acadia Parish. Been farming rice for 25 years. If red rice has been a has been a problem for us for the most of my career. Since the advent of Clearfield, it's made rice farming a lot easier. We can, we can grow rice any way we want now and know it's gonna be clean. In just a few short years, the Clearfield production system for rice has proven its value to U.S. rice growers, who now plant it on over a third of all rice acres in the southern rice growing states of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Missouri. For the last six years or so, we've, we've uh, used the Clearfield uh, technology and, and uh, the varieties that were available at the time. And, um, 
it has really been a tremendous benefit to us uh, simply in red rice control and um, clean fields and, and just the whole, the whole system really works. To contact Horizon Ag or LSU Ag Research Station, call 1-866-237-6167 or visit their websites at www.horizonseed.com or www.lsuagcenter.com.